When Batman Arkham City released in 2011, it set a new bar for licensed video games, and it is so widely regarded as the greatest comic book game ever made. Its fantastic storytelling, detailed open world, and top tier gameplay earned developer Rocksteady Studios praise a thousand times over. Making a follow-up game would be a daunting task for any developer, and yet a brand new team, known as Warner Brothers Games Montreal, was tasked with making another Arkham title to satiate fans until Rocksteady was ready with their next game. Jump ahead to 2013, and after only a year and a half of development, Batman Arkham Origins hit the scene. And although it didn't light the world on fire, it's found a lot of love in the years since its release. Personally, I'm among those who loves the game, and I ranked it alongside Arkham City as the best the series has to offer. In my opinion, there's one area where Arkham Origins excels far beyond any other game in this franchise, whether before or after it. This is why Batman Arkham Origins has the best combat system. Let's start with the basics. As for a character moveset, Batman has four basic actions. He can attack, counterattack, evade, and cape stun. He also has access to special moves, which become available once the player reaches a high enough combo score, like an instant takedown or a bat swarm to stun large groups. Players can also perform beatdowns or aerial attacks after using a cape stun and can incorporate a litany of gadgets during combat encounters. Nearly every aspect of this gameplay system is pulled one to one from Arkham City, and for good reason. See, Arkham City elevated gameplay to a near perfect state. Origins looked to make very specific augments to the formula to help it reach its full potential. The developers weren't trying to reinvent the wheel, just smooth over some rough edges. For example, in Arkham Origins, the player will fight larger enemy groups than before, and enemies are generally more aggressive in this game. More importantly, the enemy variety saw some great new additions to keep combat feeling fresh. A critique of City was that combat becomes far too easy once you learn and master it, and the threat of losing a fight seems to evaporate completely, especially given the thin number of enemy types for players to fight. This is where Arkham Origins shines. See, Origins sees the addition of new enemy types. Up first is the martial artist enemy. They can actually block or dodge your attacks and counterattack, giving you a two second window to counter their counter in an interesting dance of back and forth. They also have two different attack patterns. They can try to break your combo streak with very specific time single attacks, or they can rush you with a triple hit combo. Up next are the Bane Henchmen. They're stronger than typical thugs and can juice up with Venom to become more powerful. One hit from them will send you rolling backwards and they're all about running up and grabbing Batman so that another enemy can come in and deal damage. To break their Venom state, you either have to triple cape stun them into a beatdown or use an instant takedown. Finally, we come to the literal largest addition to the enemy lineup. These head thug henchmen are very strong and swing wildly. If they get their hands on Batman, they'll run him across the arena and smash him into a wall before tossing him down on the ground. Well, unless you can break their grip in time. Like the standard thugs, they come in non-armored and armored variants, but unlike standard armored thugs, an instant takedown will only break their armor, not knock them out completely. This isn't every edition, but you get the idea. These new flavors added into the mix ensure that players are always engaged. It actually makes the player feel like the Dark Knight, and keeps combat from becoming stale. The fights in this game are just generally a step above the rest of the series, because no longer can you simply button mash your way to victory. You actually have to think for a second about how you're going to keep your combo going without getting hit. It's a great system and each layer of it builds upon itself in a satisfying way. Another great showcase is the game's many boss fights, each presenting a unique challenge for combat. The flying pyromaniac Firefly will test your ability with quickfire gadgets, while others like the Master Assassin Deathstroke will make sure you can keep a combo going without messing up a counter. There's a reason people say Origins has the best boss fights in the series, and a major reason for that is because they actually test what you practice out in the open world and on missions. The Bane and Lady Shiva fights are great evolutions of their henchmen counterparts, especially because you'll be fighting them alongside the bosses. Another area where Origin stands out is that players are granted the ability for two special combo actions instead of just one. 
This means you can do a bat swarm and an instant takedown, or dismantle two weapons back to back. This is a great way to balance out Batman because the player still feels powerful. In fact, since the groups you fight are far larger in this game with more challenging enemies, it's even more rewarding when a fight ends. Players also receive a grade at the end of each fight, which will tell you how you did, how hard the fight was, and from there, a player can focus on what they want to improve with. It's a neat system that rewards greater XP for a better performance. It's the way these systems shine when they're all brought together that makes Arkham Origins stand out. Thanks to an excellent game design and an incredible foundation to build from, Warner Brothers Games Montreal managed to create a gameplay system that stands the test of time even 8 years after release. So there you have it. That's why I think Batman Arkham Origins has the best combat system out of all the Arkham games. If you liked today's video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe because over 99% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed and every little bit helps. Especially if you want to keep up with any Gotham Knights or Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League news. To see me play games live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel. Link in the description below. It's twitch.tv slash Ladato. And that's all I got for you today. So uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And just remember to be excellent to one another. Alright, see ya.